Well, I'm so happy to be here and also freaked out. Uh, <laughs> so anyways, I had a question that, I, that relates to a very long life experience, maybe seven years. So I lived in different places. I'm originally from Europe. And about seven years ago, I moved to LA to study, not to become an actress. <laughs> and then I moved here quite recently. And I noticed in LA, it was, I had a great time and I moved up the vibrational scale. And in the beginning, I didn't have very good things happening here. And there was challenging. But as time passed, things got better in my life experience. But I had to focus really hard to keep them that way vibrationally in order to keep a certain standard of life, of living. And, uh, you know, I couldn't really afford to get off out of the vortex for very long before bad things begin to happen. What you're describing is what a lot of people in this room or who have been doing this work are feeling. We're only going to interrupt briefly, so hold your place. Yeah. And that's the reason that we are now speaking a lot about getting out ahead of it. Because while you can hold yourself by focus, there's enough resistance in that that it's hard work it's too hard of work and now you know what you know you see now you know that it's about vibration and now you know you can affect the way you feel so now you've shown yourself that you are capable of controlling your vibrational frequency and now we're talking about the easiest way to do it yes uh, so I'm wondering, when I moved here, things got so much simpler. My standard of living just increased in a month, you know, got a better car, met super nice people and everything. And, and, you know, I feel like it's so much easier for me to keep a certain kind of life here than it was over there. And I watch other people too, like everyone I meet here kind of has a good life pretty much. You know, they have a certain standard of living. They're not struggling. They're not in survival mode. But in LA, everyone was pretty much struggling. And I'm wondering, is the energy in the place that different that it affects, or is it purely vibrational? Like, I'm very confused on why it is so different in different places. Well, yes, it's different. And you can see the manifestations of the differences. But the reason for the manifestational differences that you can see is about vibration. And it's about the balance of desire versus belief. And so a lot of people, they come from around the world to go there to satisfy dreams that they're not up to speed with. And so there's a bigger gap, doesn't have to be, but what you're talking about is a bigger collective gap between what is desired and what is observed. And so people just have a little rougher ride. It doesn't have to be that way, but there's another factor that is more important. And that is you're there, you're launching your rockets you are doing your best to tune in and you are often in the receiving mode even though you might not have been acknowledging it as that but you're often in the receiving mode and receive the impulse in other words your inner being said follow me and you followed your inner being here you followed your inner being to the path of least resistance and so let's not assign different geographic places or even different energetic places as more or less resistant because it's all about you and what you're doing because you could be anywhere and feel better about it yeah and that's how I felt because here I just I don't really know too much people here so it's just easier for me to focus into that place and actually be intentional about what I'm creating so you could tell that story a little differently you could say when I was there I had more people who were suffering and I was giving more of my attention to those suffering people and so things didn't go as well for me then I moved to a place where I didn't know so many people so I did much less of that I did more following of my inner being and I feel way better that's the story that's the story yeah yeah <laughs> but you see what you are demonstrating here is what most humans do most humans don't tell the vibrational version they tell the manifested physical version and so then they come to erroneous conclusions about one city versus another which you got to admit is accurate in one way but it's not telling the deep story it's not telling the story that you can do anything about that story says you can never go there and feel as good as you feel here that's a flawed premise and it makes us want to tell you this story about what so much of the physical world does is they divide 
everything into piles so there's the Los Angeles pile and there's the Atlanta pile and there's this political party and this religious party and everything's in a pile because instead of talking about energy they're talking about the results of the way people have flowed the energy so they're looking at the results they're looking at the effect not the cause when you're looking at the vibration now you're out ahead of it when you're looking at the manifestation of the vibration now you're not out ahead of it now you're just regurgitating it and sorting it into piles and calling them good piles and bad piles and confusing yourself along the way so we want to take all those piles that include people who love dogs people who don't cat lovers versus dog lovers you know the piles there's a lot of them drive you nuts if you begin to contemplate and we just want you to realize there's really just two piles that's all the under the influence of source pile in this moment and the not under the influence of source pile under the influence of something other than source pile and each of those piles no matter what the previous label was has both of those in it in every political party there are those under the influence of source and those not and in every pile of humanity there are those who are approaching life vibrationally following the resources of their inner being or those who are struggling and doing it the hard way and when you think about it a lot of religious guidance has set you off on a flawed footed premise and it goes something like this you are flawed as you are there's something wrong with you and you are here to get over that and most religions say and we'll show you the way but in the acknowledging you as flawed or sinning or whatever they're under the wrong influence and so they really don't have anything to offer you a lot of people these days are sort of shying away from the norms because they're beginning to discover that they too can tap in to source energy you don't need someone else proclaiming your rightness or your wrongness you can feel your alignment or not in the moment once you understand how it all works we really like having these conversations and we know that sometimes you might be listening here especially if you're new to this conversation or to this program or this way of offering it and you might just think that Esther is really sure of what she's saying because she doesn't deviate and there are no contradictions in it and we like to say there's not a shred of evidence to the contrary of it because it is law based but still you might just think she's good at her presentation but when you resonate with the awareness that there's that larger part of you who is aware of you and listening to you who's walking with you and calling you and you manage to from a place of a higher vibration maybe you were just dancing and listening to music and you got there or maybe you were meditating and quieted your thoughts and you got there or maybe you just moved to another city and felt happier and you got there doesn't matter how you got there at a place of higher vibration you received an impulse and followed it and saw the big payoff in following it and then you get it because words don't teach it's only life experience that teach but I feel like I eventually would like to go back because I fell in love with that city and it's like the love of my life in a way but I just felt like I needed to go somewhere where there was no resistance so we just focus. have some questions for you which is dominant within you anticipation or guardedness what do you mean by that when you think about being anywhere on the planet do you feel eager about it or a little frightened by now it? I feel eagerness then you can go back <laughs> I love that when you understand that your state of being is about your connection with source not about the city in which you are dwelling now you can be anywhere so what we're really talking about this is wonderful we want to emphasize this most people and it's what's at the root of your concern here most people are living conditional lives if they see this condition they feel good if they see that condition they feel bad and then they come up with the flawed premise that they need to be able to control those conditions if that city were like this city then I would feel good when I'm in that city you can't control those conditions that's conditional living unconditional is 
rather than focusing upon the conditions that have manifest in either city good or bad better feeling or not rather than depending upon the condition for the way you feel which is what reacting is instead you tune to who you really are quiet your mind quiet your mind when you quiet your mind there's no resistance your vibration rises when your vibration rises you hook in with source energy we think that is the ultimate of unconditional it's just your natural alignment do you see what we're getting at and as you do enough of that until that's dominant then you could be in any situation and still continue to feel good or at least dominantly feel good we're not saying that you would never see something that you don't want to see but at least you'd know what to do about it it's like you decide that you're on your own you've learned a lot you're feeling great and you're gonna go to a beautiful city somewhere and you get on an airplane and you get into your transportation and when you step out you step into city sewer water <laughs> and you say so this is Atlanta <laughs> Or you say, oh, this is part of Atlanta. There's more to see. And I'm not going to let this one experience be the defining factor about what it is. You see? Yeah, it's about creating your own vibrational space, I'm guessing. So that way you can only attune. You sign, tune up with what we and like. And it's yeah. not about creating it and maintaining it all the time. It's not like a college degree where once you get the plaque, it's yours forevermore. This is something that either is or isn't in the moment, depending on what you're doing with your focus. And it is something that is moldable. And all we're saying is the more you tune to who you really are, the more that will be dominant, the more that will be prominent, the easier that will be. Step one is ask. Contrast makes that easy. Step two is source answers and that's not your work. Step three is you be aware of the way you feel and move in the direction of what feels best, which puts you in the receiving mode. Step four is getting really good at that, wanting to feel good. So becoming a master at it by having all the tricks in your bag of tricks. Sometimes you do a focus wheel. Sometimes you make a list of positive aspects. Sometimes you just go out and do things that are pleasing to you. Sometimes you meditate. Often you meditate. Really often you meditate. Every day you meditate. Mm. We're just hinting a little bit. You allow your vibrations to rise. That's step four. You're really, 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 really good at it. And you prefer feeling good and you know how to feel good and you do mostly feel good. And people know you as somebody who feels good and you don't care whether they know you as somebody that feels good or not. You just feel good. And you don't give a rip about what they think because what they think is irrelevant to you because you know how to tune in tap in turn on and you love them that's step four you're really good at that step five is you're back in LA you see something that doesn't please you and you don't care you don't feel bad about it you just laugh about it you say oh yeah I remember that but you're in that stable place where it doesn't give you any sense of insecurity because your momentum of security is so dominant within you so now it's just something that is happening even something that is happening to you doesn't set you off your game because it's just another opportunity to fine-tune better it gets the 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 better it gets and the more in control of how you feel you are then the more you want to go everywhere we promise you you didn't say I'll come forth into this body but take me to the city with no resistance <laughs> you said take me to this environment and from this I will come to my own awareness of what I prefer and you're already being said and when you do that we'll call you there and you said and I'll listen and sometimes I'll come and sometimes I won't come and your inner being says we know but we'll keep calling whether you come or not and you said well I'll come mostly and your inner being says well maybe you will and maybe you won't but we'll keep calling and you said I'm going to immerse myself in Los Angeles I'm gonna really look around and your inner being knows that you're gonna look around and you're gonna find things that are gonna keep you from being in perfect vibrational harmony with your inner being but your inner being doesn't freak out because your inner being knows who you really are your inner being knows what your standards are your inner being knows who you are as an eternal being your inner being knows that you want to feel good your inner being knows that you will find a way to feel good your inner being knows that you will follow you might have to croak to do it we just don't think you should have to croak to follow your inner being what do you think don't you think you know enough now that you could mostly follow your inner being dominantly follow your inner being does that mean you'll never be in a bad mood again of course not 
Does that mean that you won't have a contrasting experience where there is the realness of expansion? Of course, that will always come.